that's plugged in. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Okay, for the actual review of the keyboard. Uh, first of all, pros and cons. I'm gonna get the cons out of the way. Uh, it feels cheap. It looks premium, but it feels very cheap. It's uh, some kind of cheap plastic that they put the wrist rest in. It's a kind of a nice addition, but then again, you can't really judge them that much. Um, good thing, uh, pros, uh, 20 to $24 keyboard, depending on where do you live. Uh, pros, I guess, would be the Otmu or Temu blue switches. I don't know how to spell it, but basically they're a, a copycat of the Cherry MX blue switches. Another con, if you're really into that, is that the color scheme can only be one color per row. Uh, pretty much that's it. I would give it a solid 7 out of 10, to be honest. I would definitely recommend it to everybody. You don't have to pay 100, 150 bucks for a mechanical keyboard. It's completely mechanical. It looks premium, but doesn't feel like it. And I don't know if I have uh, said that already, but it, the keys are not on a metal backplate, which usually keys are. And I'm using it for a week, so maybe that would be a turn off for somebody, but it uh, really is a dust magnet, uh, like around the keys and everything like that. Uh, in the background, you can uh, see me play some uh, Titanfall, so it's gonna be for like one or two minutes, so if you wanna hear how the keyboard sounds like, be my guest. <laughs> 